Hello, friends and family of Faith Reformed Church. The Lord be with you. We're excited that we're going to gather together with you for live worship on Sunday morning. As we step into that opportunity, we want you to notice a few things. First, that service is going to start at 9.30 on Sunday morning. We've moved that time up for just a half an hour just to make sure the heat of the day doesn't get too much for that time and space. And then also just to make sure that the sun's reflection isn't too much for those people who will gather on that day. And so we can hardly wait for a 9.30 worship service together outside on Sunday morning. We look forward to it. We hope you do too. We do have more details that we want to share with you. So on Sunday, we're going to have three different viewing options. The first viewing option is that we're going to invite people who will bring chairs and you'll be able to seat, be seated and worship with us. The second option we're going to have is kind of a drive-in service where you'll stay in your cars. We're going to have an FM tuner that you'll be able to tune your radio to and be able to participate in the worship service that way and just to stay a little bit safer. And then we'll continue to offer the live stream online option for those of you who don't feel safe coming to church yet. Across that spectrum of those three opportunities, we want you to know this. Please choose whatever option is the safest for you. Our biggest, biggest priority in the midst of this journey is that you stay safe and that we're being as careful as we possibly can as a church. And so three options, either seating, bringing your own chairs, staying in your car through an FM tuner, or the third one, staying at home and joining us online through live stream. Included in this video and included in an email that will be sent out, you'll find a map. That map's going to give specific details about where things are. You'll see an area for where people are going to be seated. You'll see uh, another area where people are going to be for the drive-in piece. And then there's also going to be instructions about where different people can park and what the drive lines are in the midst of that. On Sunday morning, we will have people here to help. There's actually gonna be a crew of hospitality, making sure we're giving directions, assisting people who might need assistance. We're gonna have people who are attending in the bathrooms. All of those are just safety precautions we're taking to make sure that as we join together, we're being as careful as we possibly can. We hope you'll be as careful with us as well. Many of you are asking the question what to expect during worship. And so, Here's the expectations for you to know as we live into Sunday morning. There will be some singing. We'll have hand out worship folders and all those will have the lyrics and the different passages on. You'll take that home. So we'll just hand it out. We're not gonna gather those afterwards. We're gonna ask you to take those home after we finish worship. During that worship service, we will also have the opportunity to present our offerings. We're gonna encourage you to do an offering online. That's just the safest way. But if you want to give an offering during that service, we'll have a couple of buckets that you'll be able to come forward and put your offering into. We wanna make sure that is available. And then the third piece is that you just need to know there will be options of bathrooms. We're going to ask you to come in the north door. We'll have people who are attending to all of those things. Again, living in that place of hospitality and worship. So an important part of Sunday morning is going to just be safety. And we need you to help us with this section. And we really need you to help us really well. So I'm going to ask you to do some things. Well, you make sure on Sunday morning that you come after having taken a shower or a bath, either the night before or that morning itself. Well, you make sure you're coming to church on Sunday with clean clothes that have been laundered. We want to make sure we're being as careful as we possibly can. We'll have hand sanitizer here. We'll make sure that people are attending and making sure things are clean. Um, bringing your own chairs, staying in your car. Again, all of those options are about safety. And let's be honest, one of the biggest questions people are going to have are about masks. Here's what I think we just need to live into. We're going to recommend that you wear masks. It's the safest. However, we recognize that some people are not going to feel comfortable with that or because of a medical condition can't do that. And so we're going to put that responsibility on you. I am going to ask us to do this. Our mission statement, sharing God's love through new life in Jesus Christ. So if someone wears a mask or someone doesn't wear a mask, that we would live into the graciousness of that. And so friends, again, participating with you, we're worshiping God, not just in our singing, not just in gathering around God's word, but we're worshiping God in how we treat and interact with each other as well. That fellowship on Sunday morning is what we all miss. And that fellowship and serving each other is going to be an important part of this Sunday morning and many of the Sunday mornings continuing after this. 
One last detail, on Sunday morning when you get here, whether you're parking your car and you're coming to sit down, whether you're driving in, whether you're staying online, we're going to have different people to assist you. And so there will be a tech team that's serving and serving well. There's going to be a hospitality team. There's going to be a kind of a safety team making sure that we're doing all these things well. We're going to have people here to serve you. We're going to have signs giving direction. In fact, I'm so excited that our young adults and our young people are helping us with this. And so just creating that environment, what it means to be the church together on Sunday morning. Friends, as we live into all of this, one, we're all excited, aren't we? So in the excitement, let's live into it by living well, by worshiping God, by causing Sunday morning to become something that not only we delight in, but what God delights in. We can hardly wait to be with you. The Lord be with you today. The Lord be with us always. Blessings.